<laughs> we'll play the commercials later. What's yeah. up? What's up? What's up? It's been a hell of a day getting everybody, everybody rocking in. But we got all the mess out the way. We got everybody's level up out the way. All that. Yep. Except for Lori's, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she still got a level, and then she'll miss today. So, you guys are in Omu. So, let me bring that map up. Load. All right. So you guys just dealt with the King of Feathers and his minions. Yep. That was a mess. Oh, oh, oh that was a mess. <clears throat> he is toast. So now you guys are hanging out in the amphitheater. Everything's quiet for once. The, there's a big, giant dinosaur dead body in the middle of the the Coliseum, and there's a whole bunch of little Dimatrons that are dead up in the... the uh, the uh, amphitheater itself, um, you collected some stuff from the ground or from the from the hidden in the, the amphitheater. And now it's up to you guys what you want to do. Um, so we're just like kicking it out. I think I cast the uh, Cordana Barrows around our campsite before we logged out last time. Yep. Um, so we're all just sitting around the campfire, and just like, man, let's 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 do some, let's let's check out our loot, Balinor. It's in the bag, man. What all we got in there? Because we should have what loot? Yeah, that bag you got. That bag. I have no idea what you're speaking of. <laughs> Are we going to split it up here, or do we want to wait till we get back to town and split it up? Well, no, I was just say let's let's just take a look around. Let's just take a look in the bag and see what we got. I'm not necessarily talking because it's easier to carry that way, obviously. But I'm trying to get some kind of a idea what all we have. We might have missed something. Hint, hint. We might have missed something. So, um, you want to well, you want to search through the bag, Balinor? I, yeah, I can. I'm going to tell him what I what we got. We got a war hammer. We got a bone coffer set. We got a jasper orb set. A silver necklace with four red circles and globes. Okay, but you're not hearing me. And also I in the bag, which you haven't noticed before, because it's a bag of holding. Is a small rock, about the size of, I don't know, about the size of a, a quarter. Wow. See, you might find something else in there. That's why I wanted to go through the bag. Well, some of the stuff in the bag is actually mine. Right? Yep. I don't care about your stuff. I'm uh -huh. talking about That's what I'm telling, which is why I'm pulling out the stuff that we have found. Yep. Okay. I'm not what just going to empty the bag upside down. It's a magical mm -hmm. bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just it a whole shitload, a shit ton of stuff just dumps out. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You got to reach in, you got to pull out what you want and what you're thinking about. Pots and pans and all sorts of shit. Okay, well, you just, found something, you just found something you didn't know anything about. Yep. Found a little rock. So that's all we got. We got the, the, the hammer, we got the bone coffer. We got the Jasper set, we got the necklace, and now a small rock. Is any of that magical? Yeah, what's up with that rock, man? The what rock is magical, head? and it has a rune carved into it. I, I don't remember that rock when we went through this bag before. Do you? 
Well, maybe it was in the coffer. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, could have been. Uh, has anybody got ancient languages or anything to read? Um, uh, let uh, me look at my sheet. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I got ancient. <laughs> ancient languages? Uh... Well, what's his face could... Uh... Uh, or, what about the interpreter? What about yeah, uh, I was gonna say, was gonna say or Orbit? Could look at, or Orbit could look it up. <clears throat> and he's like, hmm. Let me let me take a look at that. I mean, he takes the rock and he sets it down on the ground in front of him, and he pulls out a couple books and starts flipping through pages and flipping through pages. It's like ah, ah, uh -huh, yes. This is uh. This is an old rune. It's it's uh, it means home in in Chilton. Hmm. Anybody detect magic on this thing? That's magical. That's magical. Um, what do you think, guys? What do you think this could be? I'm no I... wizard, but I had a feeling that <clears> thing could get, us, could get us. They, I got a feeling that thing could get us back to town. Is it? We can try to get there things called skipping stones. Uh, there are skipping stones. Maybe it's a skipping stone. Yeah, it says home on it, and I don't know. Conjuration spell that is inside of this this uh, this stone. All right. Well, I'm I'm not the most magical person in the group, Balinor, um, or Luz, or Luz should be like taking the lead on the on what. Yeah, we Luz do. could. Uh, she's like, I was like, give me a moment. She grabs a hold of the stone in her hand and makes a fist around it, and you see her close her eyes and she starts muttering the words "home" in a whole bunch of different languages that she knows. And the next thing you guys know, there's this bright light. And the next thing you are is standing in the middle of the Red Bazaar in uh, Port Nyanzaru. Get the fuck. I mean, that's perfect, isn't it? Let me find Matt First thing Port I do Nyanzaru. is look for Pitch. Pitch, you. Did my cat make it? Yeah, everybody made it. Okay, okay. That would have been some funny crap if you forgot your damn cat. <laughs> well, I'm not the one that cast the freaking spell. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not meaning you personally. I'm just meaning the whole thing. As you notice I, I care about my cat enough to know right away whether or not so my cat the, the sense of incense and burning wood and the smell of dung, of dinosaur dung, Everything assaults your noses at once. The smell of food being cooked in the streets. Um, it's raining. So everything is kind of covered up right now. But uh, you are standing in the Red Bazaar, which is the big big shopping center of the of the Port Nyanzaru. I say we go get a place at the end, and we can divvy up what we have, and then we can pick up supplies before we go back. And don't forget about all that gold that we jacked up out of Medusa's tower. Well, let's divide it. How many of us are there? There's four total. <clears throat> so if, as far as the Zaka got her map, Zaka got her map, so her mask, so she doesn't care about anything else. So I guess here, do we want to go ahead and sell the stuff we have and just divide the gold? Yeah, yeah. so we can all buy it. Sell it and then divide it. Yeah. All right. Max, are we good with me just doing that off panel? Yep. And and also, um, Lori said she wants, out of whatever money she's got, the highest action, our highest AC armor she can get and a, and a mace, a better mace. 
So. The only thing, Max, that silver necklace with the four red circles and globes, mm -hmm. you never gave me a price on that. Okay. So I'm gonna. So we need to get that checked out first. Yeah, hold on. If you don't mind me just saying, I'm gonna go take it and get it. You know, somebody can tell me what it is and what it's worth. <sighs> How many balls are on it? Four red circles, globes. Oh. Silver necklace with red with four red circle globes. Yeah. That would be 5,400 gold pieces that you can get from it. 5,400? Yep. Uh, we for, we, for just we, that one thing? Yep. We can buy everything? some night shit this time, yo. <laughs> Horses, all kinds of sh flying horses. <clears throat> no, I'm talking about better armor, and better weapons, and a better. So we have a total weapon. of nine thousand four hundred and twenty-five, and we sell everything. We divide it by four, which means each person has two thousand three hundred and fifty-six. Okay, well, that means that. Should I write that on here? Les can get her armor. And I can, I'm can. i going to delete all this stuff, Max, now, since we no longer have it. Yep. Open up Les's sheet. And I'm keeping track. Each one of us now has 2,000. 356.25 gold pieces. Actually, I had 26 at, gold. I had 26 gold going into that ahead of time. So I have a little more than that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I have I my had own personal too. I'm just yeah. talking about out of what we sold. Right, right. All right. Anyway. You add whatever you want that you guys all had. Yeah, so who do you want to go with first, Max? Do you want to just, who do you want to, which one? Because each one of us is going to want to go to a couple different stores. So yeah. you want to just, who do you, who wants to go first? Just roll a d20. Whoever gets the highest can go first. We should just go like while you're doing the same type of equipment. That way we don't have to jump around a bunch, if that works. Like we can all yeah. just buy stuff at the same time. Yeah. I was just meaning we could be talking to the merchants that way we're not talking over every each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's say we go to a magical weapon store. Let's let's hit that. I mean, a uh, actual weapon store. All right. So you head up to uh, one of the 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 tent type things and there's a tabaxi that is standing there or sitting on the ground really and there's incense burning around him on his cut his uh his his rug he's like ah hello what can i do for you we are uh, in we're looking to purchase what arms now, when we walk in there, do we see armor or do we see um, weapons? Weapons. Okay. It's like, ah, you have come to the proper place, for Malaki can give you whatever you need for weapons. Yes, we have many selection. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Hawk, step on up. I'll, I'll let, you can go first. Oh, sorry, I didn't roll. Are we supposed to roll? That's fine. Yeah. No, I'm just letting. I'm, I don't care. I'll go last. Yeah. I'm not. I don't care. Yeah. So, what do you go? What are you looking for? You you look like a man with bow. You have you have sword too. What would you want? You wanting sword? You wanting bow? I'm wondering if you have a better bow than the one I'm carrying. <clears throat> of course, of course, yes. Tell me what you got. What do you got? What do you got? Get 
it's open here. Consumables, combat items. Max, would it be better for you to just, if, uh, if we tell us what we're looking for and you can tell yep. us what, what he's got? Yep. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm looking for. A, I'm looking to have my sword refixed, trading it in, because I have the broken pieces. I'm sure it was still the mm -hmm. hilt and all is probably still fine. And I'm looking for a bow, okay. maybe a nice dagger. Uh, all right, Pops, what are you looking for? Uh, I was talking to the dude about a longbow. Yeah. Better than better than the one I have, because if it ain't better, then why bother? Um. And I'm also wondering what kind of, uh, you know, obviously when we find uh, an armor, I'm looking for something maybe a little better than leather. I don't know. Okay. Let me find this. But I have a uh, silver scimitar. You know, I have a happy crossbow. I, got blah, 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 blah. I'm, I really just want to know if I can get a better bow. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Um, I'm going to ask him, do you guys have any magical weapons, or do you strictly carry just regular arms? No, these are magic weapons for sure, yes. <clears throat> you want oh, well, you want him bow, so I give you bow of the sight. It gives you, helps you attacking. Yes, you want this one? It costs you 1,050 gold pieces. And what's the stat on that? It's a longbow plus one. Okay. All right, I'll buy that. That's the best you got? That is what I have right now. Okay. You just you just missed the plus three longbow. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you would come in, <laughs> coming earlier, you would have had it. You know, I've, Malik I've, gets Malik gets I, gets many I, I many things per just, day. I, I can tell you, you just missed. We should go find thing. the guy that bought it. No, 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 no. no. I, <laughs> so I, I, I could I I could be real nice and tell you you just missed a two hundred gold piece tip. Oh. Oh, I <laughs> see how that works. Don't tell people bad news. Let's handle this. Um, one thousand fifty gold pieces. Yep. And you wanted better armor. Well, we got to go to an armor for that. Yeah, it's a different different location. But you wanted better armor. If I can get something better than studded leather, right. I mean, I don't want something like you know I can't wear plate, obviously, but maybe uh something better than armor or better than leather yeah yeah so no. you have the bird here he wanting are you wanting to buy or are you wanting to to just to just look and waste maliki's time me yeah me said the bird dude. Keep talking uh, to i know <laughs> i want to i want a shield and, and a curious curious uh gami gamma oh, sorry gamma oh curious gamma very nice very very exotic I give you for twenty gold points. Do you have any? Do you have any special ones? Hmm. Magic or silver? You want? You want something special? I mm -hmm. do have magic one. Yes, gives you gives you much power in battle. It is it is silver as well. And he pulls it out, sets it on the the the, uh, the rug in front of him. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this one, this is much more than 50. It'll cost you 1,000 gold coins. What's uh, magic on it? It's a curse. Oh, you said it makes it. Plus one. Sure, and I'll it's get silvered. It. And it's silvered, too? Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> I will take that, and whatever shield doesn't interfere with like my dex bonuses or whatever. Yeah, it'd be a buckler, and it'll be plus get that. one. You go to the armor. Yeah, 
Okay. You hit the armor. And um, for the, I think I'm good on everything else. I could get a different right. bow. Maliki thanks but... you for your service and your your hospitality, and more importantly, your money. <laughs> yes. Okay, Max. Outside game. Um, this here is is that supposed is do I have to do anything to update that? Is it all? Is it going to do it uh, itself? No, you got to update it by dropping the thing on it. Hold on. You want to do that? No, just yeah. not with it. Okay. So much easier. I'll subtract my thousand. That part I already did. <laughs> there you go. Some reason to put it on there twice. Yep. There. There you go. Remove the other one. I got you. Oh, hey, hey, Maliki, you want to buy this other longbow from me? Nah, Maliki does not buy bows that are normal. <laughs> You're a little dick, aren't you, Leaky? I like you, dude. He buys things that are, are special <laughs> in ways. Yes. Yeah, that's funny. You wish to sell your regular weapon? Maybe you seek someone else. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, to the, to the woman, what are you looking for? You've already got your sheer armor. Liz, well, I already bought it for you. Thank you. What uh, what kind of weapons do we have on the menu? Oh, nice. Welcome aboard. Mm -hmm. I just saw you popped in. <laughs> I can't get roll 20 to uh, to launch for me, but uh, I'm in the stream yard at least. <laughs> yeah, we can so... we, we go shopping. So, you know. Maliki, he sells lots of things. You wanting... What kind of weapon you need? Mm. I give you, I give you what I have. Mace, mace, maces. This, 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 uh, the weapon of the the holy. Yes, I can. I can find you one. Give me, give me one moment. Yes. I bet she's got a tattoo of one. <laughs> I think I have two tattoos, possibly three. <clears throat> I can't get into roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We're just looking at the city map and we're at the, you know, we found a teleportation coin. Ooh. Fancy. Cool. We went back to the bazaar and we're just like, you know, got to burn all that gold up. Oh, she's yeah, gone. Larry, just to let you know real quick here, you get, we start everything off, and she's you have 2,356.25 gold pieces. And now oh, she's back. <laughs> she, I don't think she heard any of that, Johnny. Oh, Laura, I said um, we start everything off, and you have 2,356.25 gold pieces. No, she has 1,000 gold pieces after buying her armor. Oh, I didn't know she already bought it. Sorry. Yep. I already paid for it. I didn't give her a thousand back, but she'll be spending it on this mace of terror. So he puts a mace out on the 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 the, uh, the rug in front of him, and it's it's a black mace. It looks kind of regular. It's just a, it's like a, a it looks like a, a metal stick with a big metal ball on the end of it, except for it has one huge claw that comes sticking out of it, and it's all colored black and wrapped in black uh, black leather. It's like, yes, this one here, this is good. This is good weapon. It'll You uh, you have a chance to, to scare all those around you with the fear. Yes. Is that like that Wilt Chamberlain one from Conan? <laughs> Because he had that base with the big <laughs> yep. hook on it. That's pretty much the same thing. Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. Going old school. So this magic weapon has three charges. While holding it, you can use an action and expand one or expend one charge to release a wave of terror. Each creature of your choice within a 30-foot radius extending from you must succeed on a DC 15 wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you for one minute. 
While it is frightened in this way, a creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can. It can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that it pre prevents it from moving. If it has nowhere it can move, the creature can use the dodge action. At the end of its turn, the creature can repeat a saving throw if ending the effect on itself if it succeeds. Mace regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I take your thousand gold and I give you the weapon. It's no problem. Maliki is very, very, very nice. Yes, you, you, you can't say I'm not help you. I, I, I totally stopped paying attention halfway through, but it's good. I, uh, I accept. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Now let me add that to your sheet. Um, were you, were you gonna add the my weapon to my sheet, or what should I put for it? I gotta add your weapon to your sheet like by itself because it's its own fucking thing and it's not in the okay in the list. okay. So I gotta add it myself. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Yep. Fine. Spelling of this thing again. Johnny gonna spend all his money on a sword. <laughs> I'm looking at a sword, a bow, and a shield. Is it unbreakable? <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> nice. How? How? How's that spelled again? Hermes. Oh shit, he left, dude. It, he spelled it in the chat. I, I, I had to re restart my thing and I don't have don't have it in there. Hold up, let me find it for you. Let's copy and paste it again. Oh, where the heck did it go? Yeah, I'm saying I don't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. Chris Kirk. Kusaragama or some shit. Yeah, just copy and paste it back into the chat. How's that? All right, that works. Did you get it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> For everybody tuning in late, sorry we're late. Sorry we're late. Hmm. Um, sometimes everybody's personal schedules and shit just don't work. But usually Friday morning works for us. So you, as you see, we're all here just a little late. Max is going to have to check out and go get some blood drawn here in a bit. Um, yeah. We will be equipping ourselves. Yes, yes. Um, and uh, kids stuff at school today. They had, because uh, this week and next week, next week is the last day of school. It's Wednesday. So it's like all the, the school activities happen this week so they have field day today so whew, that was fun so max had suggested that while he runs across the street and gets blood taken that we all do our um chat about like how last week ended how we killed all them little munchkin things and everything and then if he gets back in time for us to do any little bit of something then we will before cool. oh you know what we could even do if you guys wanted to like a campfire deal in character talking about what we've done and haven't done. That's so that what we While Max is gone, yeah, we can yeah. do a little campfire. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. His weapon is is added. All right. Get Johnny. This All right, Johnny. He's like, ah. And the man in the armor, you you are quiet, yes? You want something from Maliki or no? I was looking at, um, I'm curious to what you have in the way of a sword, a shield, and a bow. Well, Maliki does not carry the shield, but a uh, sword and bow, I can I can do these things. Yes, give me. What's up, Pile 13? How you doing? Hey, welcome to the show. And do you know someone in town that specializes in shields, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, yes. Uh, Maliki knows many people that specialize in the armors. Yes. I'm There's many inside. 
There are many inside the Red Bazaar itself. It's not hard to find. It's not hard to locate. If you look behind you, you can find one right there. If you look down the hallway, there's another one down there. They just... You just look for the, the the armor or the shield on the sign. I was looking for ones that have some I know not as well crafted as yours, but the ones that are special like yours as well. Now, these will definitely, definitely be be nice, yes. All right. Um, he, has, he pulls out a longbow and sets it on the... the, the uh, the, the 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 rug and it's huh? it's a it's a dark wood longbow, kind of a recurve bow, and it's got like this weird looking face where you hold your hand. Okay. And he's like, "Yes, this one very vicious. You you connect good. It does super damage. Yes, but uh, you, it does not give you bonuses to attacking or to uh, damages itself. But you hit." Importantly, in the critical spot, yes, you do lots of damage. So this is a vicious longbow. When you roll a 20 with this magic weapon, the target takes an extra 2d6 piercing damage. So basically, so only if I roll a 20 will it actually be any different than a regular, regular longbow, one. correct? Yes. No. And this one is here has cost you 350 gold coins. Done. And long sword. He's got all sorts of swords. Hold on. I'm looking for something that might be more suitable for someone that is on a holy crusade, particularly against large creatures. Hi. Nice. The gods are calling me. Yes. Did I see like the clouds like separate and a beam of light come down or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that just happened. I'm being summoned. Yes, you like um, you like to see in the darkness. I have a sword weapon to help you do that. I think you I'm covered in that aspect, but thank you. Okay, you you wanting uh, you wanting sword. For attacking, uh, Maliki has that. And what do you? You wanting great sword? You wanting long sword? You wanting what, what kind of sword you 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 looking for? A special long sword or great sword? Either one. <clears> hmm. <throat> well, you wanting the great sword? It'll cost you one thousand gold coins. You wanting the long sword? It'll cost you nine hundred. And what is the difference? What uh, abilities do these have? They are more or less the same. They help you. They they guide your they guide your hand during attack. All right, off camera, Max. Are these both just plus ones? Yep. Is it? Um, do they? Are they the same damage? One d eight or whatever. Uh. It's, it's, it's the same damage that it gives, but it's magical weapon, and it uh, gives you plus one. Damage. It's plus one to hit and plus one damage. I mean, but as far as great or long, they're both the same damage, right? Oh, hold on. Because I couldn't remember. Because I thought they great had sword. Take... Great sword does two d six damage. Long sword does one d eight. But a great sword is two handed, and a long sword is one handed. All right. Does the versatile. Well, in the lo in the in the long sword, it's like one and a half, isn't it? So you can versatile. use it two handed or one handed. Yeah, it's, it's versatile. You can use it two or one handed. Yeah, it I'll do the long sword. Okay, that's nine hundred gold. That takes um, care of you guys' weapons, right? I'm also going to ask um, if he knows of anyone that can repair my sword, my my old one. Yes, I know of many people who are repairing. Uh, Brock, 
the dwarf, he's very good at it. Very, very good. Yes, he's uh, he's actually the one that is across the across the way, selling the armor and doing the the forging. Yes. I will head over that way. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate your gold. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help. Yeah. And you head across the the way. You, you shuffle through some people. You push through some people walking along. Um, you good. You get to the. You get to Brock's uh, little little tent. It's in the still raining outside, nice and muddy everywhere you're stepping. Dinosaurs are walking down the street. Uh, you smell the scent of uh, smelting ore, and you can hear the sound of the hammer hitting the, the anvil. And there's a small, dirty dwarf working working the forge. You guys walk up, he turns to you, and he's all like, What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I to intrude. Uh, we were sent here by, what was his name? Maliki. Maliki. He told me that you could help me find a shield and possibly a new blade for my sword. Do you have all the pieces? I do. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> you are much better than most. Yes. I can cook. I can oh, fix your sword. And I was also looking for, he said that you might actually have some special shields that you may be willing to part, uh, part with for the right fee. For the proper amount of money, I can definitely sort my shields for you. What, uh, anything special you're looking for? Something that will uh, protect me uh, on our adventures. That's what all shields do, my friend. <laughs> Let's just say that it'll protect me better than most. I'm looking for something above average. Okay. Yes. Maliki was good to send you to me. I can I can help you. I have I have magical shields. Many, many magical shields. Um I have a shield of spell guarding. I have a shield plus two, and I have a shield of arrow catching. What does the arrow catching do? You gain a plus two bonus to armor class against ranged attacks while you wield this shield. This bonus is in addition to the shield's normal bonus to armor class. In addition, whenever an attacker makes a ranged attack against a target within five feet of you, you can use your reaction to become the target of the attack instead. Uh, and what was the first one you said? Got a plus two or a spell guard shield. What does that do? <clears throat> While holding this shield, you have advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. The spell attacks have disadvantage against you. But it's still just a. Re it doesn't have any pluses, correct? It's a AC two shield. Yeah. Um. And the other one's just a straightforward plus two to everything, right? Magical? Uh, yeah. Want me to be a plus two defense? <laughs> yeah. And you said the and the other shield, the, the first one? Arrow catching shield? What is it? Is it a, a, a two as well? Uh-huh. So the arrow catching is just like the plus two, but you get the bonuses for the arrow catching, right? Well, um, the first shield, the spell guard shield, gives you plus two. Okay. To your armor class. It's a regular shield, but it lets you do, you get better saving throws and stuff like that against right. spells. And then there's a shield plus two, which gives you four armor class because it's two plus two. And then. You've got the shield of arrow catching, which is a little more complicated in that it gives you a plus two until someone attacks you with a ranged weapon. And then it gives you a plus four. 
And whenever someone atta attacker makes a ranged attack against a target within five feet of you, so if your partner is standing next to you and they get shot at, you can use your reaction to become the target of the attack instead. Gotcha. I'm thinking overall I'd be better off with that plus two because that's a four for everything. Yep. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I like the one that I could help the others, but by the same token, and if I'm going to be up front half the time taking the blunt, I'd rather yeah. have an, ar an AC armor class of four than two. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, we got a plus two shield. So, magical plus two shield. 1,250 gold coins. There you okay. go. Okay. Does, Does he sell any bucklers? <clears throat> yeah, he's got bucklers. Okay. Now you got a 20 armor class, Johnny. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Did you already add my long sword here? No. Which one? Okay. Did you, which one did you choose? This long sword plus one. Yeah. And then I'll keep my other long swords because I'm going to keep my other one as a backup yep. in case something happens. I've learned that lesson. <laughs> well, long sword, the plus one weapons can't break. Magical items will not what break. What the hell you're going to do? I might, I might roll a one and you'll throw it in a freaking volcano. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to be prepared just in case I get up. And honestly, once I get these swords, I'm going to give the scimitar back to Tobias. Since I was borrowing him, and thank you for uh, loaning this to me, sir. Oh, no problem. I have extra, so I don't need that, but <clears throat> that's fine. Hey, I'm an honorable guy. Now for the bird man. What do you want? <laughs> um, what do you have in magic bucklers? Uh, give me a Sorry. I have I have this here shield that you can change the expression of the face on the front, or you can get a plus one buckler. So it'd be two. Maybe what? two uh, AC on the buckler. Uh, the buckler would give you three total. <clears throat> okay. What's the other one? You can change the face. Yeah, it's just a. There's a face on the front of it, and you can change what the face looks like. Uh, I'll pass on that. Thanks. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you want the plus one shield? Mm-hmm. That'll be a thousand gold coins. All friend. right. My Matt, I really like you. Hey, Max. Yep. When you get a second, not right now, but that long sword plus one... Um, would that be the – because before I had the plus one one-handed or two-handed, depending on how I used it. Can you set that up the same way? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry not to be a pain. I Sometimes I switch off depending on what we're fighting. Because I think it's, you just, before you just had it as an entry long sword one handed and the one was two handed. Yeah. 
Um, why do I have the Mesa Tipper Terror on my thing? Do you- I don't know. <laughs> Give me that back. Bob's is good at pickpocketing. Way to go. <laughs> Damn, I got two longbow plus ones. <laughs> That's not fair. I'm over here just cleaning up. I didn't buy shit. <laughs> Hmm. Pops is walking around looking like freaking Marvel's Taskmaster is what he's doing. <laughs> he's got everything now. Three bows hanging off my back. Mace on my belt. <laughs> you, you probably got my bow. There you go. Thank you, Set sir. Up. Now, Pops has the Mesa of Terror somehow. Yeah, and my list down the bottom, right? Yeah, let's get rid of that. And and on my list up at top, too. Yeah, it'll, it just puts it on there. When you... And I somehow got two longbow plus ones down there. One of those, I think, is mine. Maybe. Now, do I get to talk to this dwarf? What's up, dwarf? Yeah, hold on. Let me catch up with what I've got going on here. of terror. Give it to Lori. I did. <laughs> I gave her a plate mail. He's good there. That's what he said. All right. He's like, he's all like, dwarf's like, ah, what do you want, knife ears? Oh, wondering if you got any kind of decent chain mail, shorty. Chain mail. Always, always chain mail with the elves. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always platform shoes with dwarves. I know how this works. I've got two different chainmails you can grab. You can grab a chainmail with the magic enchantment on it that gives it the extra defense, or you can gain chainmail of acid resistance. Which one do you want? The defensive, the defensive advantage, or whatever. I kind of like the sound of that. What do you? Uh, yeah. That all okay. About? It just—it's a plus one chainmail. Okay. It gives you plus one against everything. Um, gives you plus one to your armor class, so you'd have. 16 armor class, I think. Unless, what do you got? You've got. It, hold on. Let me just add it to your sheet. Nope. Refresh. Now that makes your armor class 17 with that armor. Oh, nice. No. Nice. I like it. I like it. Cost 1,200 gold. Oh, man. What are you going to take? Are you really going to try and boost me like that, dude? 1,200. Take it or leave it, elf man. Take it or leave it. I got to put my platform shoes on. <laughs> yeah, I like you, dwarf. Oh, yeah, always insult like them after you pay. <laughs> I, I do like you, dwarf. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you an extra 50 just because I like you, dwarf. Good. I'll give you something to drink. Yeah, yeah. Give me with like 82 gold or some shit like that. Yeah, right, dwarf. <laughs> I hope this armor serves me well. Yeah, it will. Hey, Max. I, yeah. Are we going to do what we talked about with my character? Or do you want me to look for armor here? Um, we can do what we were talking about. Okay. Because you're back in town. But uh, you all. Go get blood. We're going to go to a uh, campfire. Oh, shit. Go. Yeah, I gotta go. go. 
we just going to go to the bar. We'll just hang out here in town and go to the bar for tonight. Ooh, bar. I knew she was going to like that. Balinor. Yes, sir. Shall we find an inn for the evening? Yeah, we'll go. We'll find. Let's go back to the place we went last time. All right. I don't remember where it was, but that's because I do a lot of drugs. Um, um, yeah. Never mind. I didn't say that out loud. Never mind. Um, yeah, I'm behind you guys. Let's go. Let's go hang out. I have a crazy idea. What's this? With, with the remaining, like, whatever we have left for gold, we could, you know, there's that arena we can bet on here. We could drop all of our well, combined gold and possibly we, get a whole bunch more. We, we can't do that if Max ain't here. So we're just going to go hang out and talk about our, our adventures up to this point. Um, and, and, you know, Wow, we got we got to go back there, guys. We're not done. We're just yeah. we're just uh, rearming. Rearming, refitting. Yeah, you know. And hey, Max, do you care if the, if you guys don't care? I can take over the and do some of the NPCs. Do you want me to yeah, do that? Go for it. Are you guys cool with that? I'm fine. Yeah. Do what yeah. You do. I'll just kind of run and play the NPCs while Max is gone. Yep. I will be back. Mute myself. Right. Cool. We'll see you in a bit, Max. Good yeah, luck. I'm just going to mute myself in the roll 20 or in the Discord. I think he meant StreamYard, but okay. <laughs> so, uh, true story. I, I broke my toe on Wednesday. And uh, I was, you know, um, walking around doing field day today and, and I can't put shoes on so I'm wearing um, flip flops right right and my husband stepped on my foot with my broken toe today so if anybody's looking for a free husband I got one oh. <laughs> all right I swing for the other team <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys are, I'm going to take over a little bit here you guys are walking around um, town and you see the spotted mule and it's where I'm just making it up and it's an inn. It looks like it's halfway lavishable. All right. Bef before we start, I want to show Lori some real quick. I don't know if okay. you show or not. Um, I, ha I have this uh, munchkin. Did you see the baseball picture? Yeah. Lori? Yeah, I did. Did you see his little pose? Is that crazy? He, he's like ready to steal second, right? Uh huh. Sonic the base runner. <laughs> he's so cute. I'm sitting in the bleachers and he takes the Sonic pose, and I'm like, that look, because he does that whenever he's going to run fast. He like sets up like Sonic and then breaks off. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't remember doing shit like that when I played Little League, all right? We didn't go. Oh, the flash. <laughs> we were Reggie Jackson, or you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> crack me up. Okay, Johnny, do your thing, bro. All right, you see the, the inn? It looks, you know, pretty posh. It looks really nice. Um, you see horses out front. You see people coming in and out, having a good time. Speaking of horses, where'd you leave your horse? Yeah. That's what I was thinking a while ago, too. Oh, my horse I actually stabled. Where, though? He was here in this town. Want to go check on him, maybe? No, I'll go. Well, I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be back yet, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, okay, okay. In, I mean, since we're, since we're back early, I figured I'll check on him in the morning. Okay, okay. This looks like a good establishment. What do you think? Shall we go? Yes. I'm, I'm ready for a drink. Yes. She, she's already walking through the door. Why are you asking, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> well, she didn't say it, so I didn't know. So <laughs> I'm walking through the door. <laughs> See, there you go. Who's buying the first round? It's not me. I'll buy the first round. Hooray. I am so broke right now. <laughs> I don't even know if I have any money left after I spent all the things. Oh, yeah. I don't know how, my, how, how much of my money your money Max spent. <laughs> Probably all of it, knowing Max. Did you keep track of yours? Uh, I'm down to 82 gold, yeah. Gotcha. I always keep track. I got like 400. How much do you have left? How much gold? 400 plus I got some stuff to sell. Yeah, I didn't bother with that because I knew Max was on a time crunch. But we can, always, we can always sell our personal shit at any time, right? I don't know. I didn't have any personal stuff. Everything I I found, I just threw in the group stuff. Oh, gee, what did I have? I can look and see. What do I got? What do I, what do I got in these bags? I ain't unloaded my bags in a long time. Let me see. What do we got? Well, all right, you come in, you see a whole bunch of tables, you see an inn, you see a couple of different uh, very beautiful barmaids serving different people, you see in the back corner an empty table. I'm going to go sit at the table. All right, Balanor follows. Do you guys follow as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I sit with my bag to the wall. Uh, you're sitting right next to me then. <laughs> <laughs> that way we're facing out that's right surveying everything in front of me. keeping it all in front of me this absolutely i'm glad you guys are watching i'm drunk we know you just need to save you need, you need to be sober enough to heal us when we need it i don't need to be sober for that <laughs> <laughs> Do that confidence. I love it. I love it. A beautiful barmaid with long, lush blonde hair comes up and says, Can I help you guys with anything? Hi. I would like some Elven Ale, please, is what Dalinor orders. You ordered what? Elven Ale. Elven Ale. He's buying me a drink, too. What's the largest size you have? Uh, we have a big cankered of regular ale. I'll, I'll, whatever the largest size I can get, thank you. All right. You, my lord, and she gestures to uh, um, Pops. Um, 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 I'll take the best wine you got. Best wine. Best wine. <clears throat> and she kind of looks strange at the Birdman, but, and can I get you anything as well? Do you have any margaritas? I need a long straw if you have one. <laughs> what is a margarita? What is it? I knew that was tequila. Coming. You got ah. tequila. What is tequila? Yeah. I like yeah. the worm in the tequila. It's, uh, it's alcohol with the worm in it. We are nowhere near an agave, an agave desert, bro. Just just go with the jungle. Oh, okay. Jungle brew. We're not even brew. in the same multiverse. What are you talking about, Mojave <laughs> Desert? <laughs> they, they, they probably got some kind of rum, though. Yeah. Yeah, they'd have rum. They have jungle juice. Jungle juice. Little rum. <laughs> Whatever. Anything tropical. Um, Anything we tropical. do have some rum. Yes. And he's gone. Sounds good. I just, I'll just need. That straw. <clears throat> Would you guys like anything to eat? Right. Cube. Ooh. What are you buying, us, Eleanor? What's what's on the, what's on the menu? I believe first round I stated was drinks. I don't think I stated meals. What what is on the menu? I'm fine. Um, right now we have a great savory oxen stew that is uh, very good with some spiced apples, and that would be uh, one gold uh, per serving. Actually, that's not bad. Balinor takes one. one. I'll get one. I might as well. <clears throat> Some stew. You, my lord, and suggestions to uh, Pops there? Um, um, um. 
I guess it'll do. <laughs> Is there something else you would actually like? I could check with the cook and see if they have. I just want a steak, bro. I don't want a stew. I don't want soup. I want meat. Um, I'm speaking as Balinor here. Are you sure you just don't want nuts and berries? I want meat, bro. Meat. Awesome meat. Been out. Been out, out. We've been gone for like two weeks, man. I want a meal, bro. I don't want stoop, soup. Um, I th oh, yes. We could have a steak, but that would be for two gold. And it That's comes with funny. potatoes and apples as well. Yeah, I want a meal. Thank you. That'll work. Thank you very much. Can we just get like a whole roast? A whole roast? He's a bird. Yeah, like a roast beast. <laughs> yes, but I think that would be like four gold. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Let's peck at it. This is going to be fun to watch. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. So she walks off on her way. She goes, she's gone for a few minutes and she comes back for the drink. She said the meal would, they are preparing. She'll be back in a little bit. All right, all right, all right. So what do you guys think, man? What do you think? Azaka, have you, have you enjoyed hanging out with us? I don't want to do this for free for you anymore. We got your mask, but then you've helped us through a lot of stuff since then. Um, can we work out some kind of an actual um, compensation for your continued uh, guidance? Really, you're going to do this to me, Pops? I can't speak yep. for Max. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, let me think it. Let me sleep on it. Right now, there the very well is for me to help you, and um, I will let you know in the morning. See, Max could have took his phone and he could have been. I have a question. <laughs> He'd be all up to date. Well, I have a question for Zaka too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what happens if? What happens if Azaka's mask, if she uses that mask on Pitch, will Pitch turn from a panther into a were tiger? We don't know. That's what's that's what all I've we, that's all I've been thinking we, about we, for like the last day. Um I will tell you normally in my experience, most magical items are based to be used for humans, not for animals. There you go. Mm, okay. If it's something that would actually be for a face or a changing it would usually would not have effect on animals. A healing po potion, yes. Something like this. Normally, it's not actually crafted so. Mm. All right. So that's pretty cool. We got bows with the extra. And then I got a spell with an extra. So now my bow is like plus two. That's cool. That's cool. And I have a bow that's a plus one. I have my now. I have a sword that won't break. And my hopefully. archery fighting is it also adds to it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe you won't die as quickly next time. Well, now I got some extra AC, so that'll help. What? What my um, armor class? Okay, they want it changed now that that plate now. Yeah, he'll have to add that when he comes back. And it'll bump up your armor class. Like mine currently, my armor class went up to 20 when um, I got my new shield. And I haven't even gotten upgraded armor yet. Gotcha. And mine went up to 17, so that'll help not get hit quite as much. I was like, my what? armor is my armor that I get an upgrade for off camera here is actually part of my backstory that Max is yeah. kind of working on an off shot for. Yeah. He's going to get demigod armor. No. <laughs> um, no, that is not the plan, but it actually goes with the whole backstory of my character. Now, yeah. if you guys want to get into that while we're sitting around the table, I figure that's a good spot. Hey, yeah. if you, want, if, if you want to start telling people about your past, that's entirely up to you. Well, we can do, I'm going to say we're going to just start playing in character right now from this point. She comes back with the food. Says if you need anything else, please let me know. She's gonna every now and then she'll be refilling the glasses, so that way we can just go ahead and focus on doing role play here. Very well. So, um, Mr. Bohawk, 
exactly why are you um, a part of this party? I'm kind of curious, you know, besides just the adventure. Is that what you're just truly looking for? Uh, I'm just like to right the wrongs of the world, my friend. There's a lot of wrongs to, be, to actually be corrected. Yeah, and, and although my methods may not always be completely... You know, on the on the side of, of you know, I'm a little bit, you know, lawful, chaotic, lawful. I don't know, I'm crazy. Just, I just don't. What like made that. you want to be a ranger? What, what what inspired you to become what you are? Uh, if you don't mind me asking, I'm just curious since we've been together for so often here. I do not feel like I know very much about you. Oh well, this yeah, we've been saving each other's lives on a daily basis. <laughs> I try to judge people by who they are, by who I know them to be from watching their actions, because I'm who I am because somebody like you mistreated me and my family. Now, what do you mean by somebody like me? Because now, now you're actually uh, saying you don't trust people by who they are. Oh, no, you're man. already stating that I'm something that... I, no, I said people like you, nobles, nobles. Not all of them are good. And I've judged you to be a pretty honorable person so far. That's why I still run here. You know. So but, maybe, hopefully, you might have a little bit different change the next time you meet one? Oh, no. I don't judge them all by what, what happened to me. I just am leery of all of them by what happened to me. And they have to prove themselves to be different than that because that's all I saw. Well, that what happened to you? I was growing up. Let's 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 just say that uh, I came from the street. <clears throat> you know, I watched my mom die um, at the hands of the man that owned her. Your mom was a slave, serf, slave, whatever you want to call it, bro. I'm sorry to hear that, and I do know it's terrible because so many nobles. Uh, there's so many of them that are just so, but I mean, that's in any course of life. You have your good or bad, unfortunately, with all walks. But somehow I got involved with this supernatural mess, this group of people right here, and that's kind of bigger, bigger than my petty um, misgivings or, or whatever. It's like it now it feels like we have a job to do. Well, I feel, and I feel sad for anyone. I I saw my mother killed in front of me and could do nothing to do it to stop it. So it's not yeah. easy. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. When when you're helpless, I was too young to do anything about it. You know, um, I totally understood why it happened. Because I still don't happened. understand what happened with mine. With, with, with us, it was just that man had the power over her to do it. Nobody could do anything about it. It was that simple. And that kind of power, that kind of power, you know, that kind of injustice that comes with that kind of power, that's what I'm all up against, bro. That's it. Power corrupts. Absolutely. What and about, how about you, you our fine feathered friend? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna go to Luz, but go ahead. Go to go 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 to the. Oh, I'm just going there. around the room. I can't I'm a, remember what he calls himself. What is it, what's, he, what's he call himself? Hermes. Yeah, that guy. Hermes. You can still hear me, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's making uh, you now go from a, uh, you know. Someone of acquisition of old goods to now all of a sudden wishing to be a ranger. Has Mr. Bohawk oh. here inspired you so? Yeah. I started out as a student, but uh, I don't know if you know, uh, we don't live as long as the humans do. So being a student. I was not aware really of that. Exciting. Yeah. We have like, we live like one third of the lifespan. So I figured I would uh, join up with a reckless party to, could keep up with my lifespan <laughs> and uh <clears throat> watching 
watching. Uh, I wanted to be an archaeologist, so now that I've got some battle under my belt, I uh, decided to go with the ranger stuff since watching Bohawk do well with his stuff. I thought it would be good to try the same thing since I was doing ranged attacks as well. But, <clears throat> yeah. It Can't would be truly skull. nice if we could find a wizard to join our party. But so often wizards cannot be trusted. Yes, but we, we did have that one wizard, we, right? But then he died. Fell off no, I'm saying we, we as 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 a party, we're missing that 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 big spell. We're missing that that. You know what I'm? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like we encounter something. We're missing fireballs is what we're missing. <laughs> that big spell, that AE spell, whatever you want to call. It. I'm trying to stay in character. You can't say that in character. We need that big boom. We don't have. That. But we can say fireballs. That they 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 have fireballs. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah, areas of, of effect. That makes sense. I think that that would be something. Effect we, area. We, I just we got. Need, uh, we, we we just need that big nuker. It'd be really nice to know that we had that big boom behind us. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> or at least, I mean, even if it was just for the defensive spells, it's like, man, I'm I'm trying to figure out a way to. Yeah, we are taking. Well, a maybe with the rest of our travels, we try to find a trustworthy wither, wizard to join us. Now, we I'm could go like uh, go to the bar and let we could go by the bar and like set up free and hire someone else. So out of character, uh, out of character. If you're free to play on Friday morning, so you want to be a wizard and join our party, you know, <laughs> us up. okay, back in character. Um, <laughs> it'd be sweet to have a wizard or a sorcerer, or, you know, whatever. Enchanter, just some kind of nuker, somebody that can drop a bomb here and there. That'd be nice. And how about our uh, tattoo, uh, mm -hmm. our tattoo wanderer? Exactly. Uh, besides us sharing the same uh, patronage, you know, what are you looking for? I, uh, I, safety. God, yeah. I was on the boat. My job was to just keep everybody alive, and it was I couldn't do it. The sea is a bitch, and she took everybody. So maybe if I'm not in the waves, I can uh, do my job and keep people alive without them drowning. How did you end up the cleric on a pirate ship? I, it, uh, there's a long story. I got a tattoo you can look at that basically tells the story. It goes from my left arm, like put my arms out straight. You start at my left hand, and you can read all Across my back. It's a long story. Uh, basically, orphan, something, something, got adopted by cleric, decided to be a cleric, decided to not be a cleric, and then ended up on a pirate ship. It's a long story. I'll have, to read, I'll have to read it closely from left to right sometime. From left to right is what I'm telling you. Well, I'm sorry you lost your companions. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really get too attached anymore just because everybody just kind of goes. Um, I probably have a better chance of keeping you guys alive if that means anything. I think that's kind of gone both ways between you and I. I, I was going to say, that's supposed to be a joke, guys. Nobody laughed. <laughs> right. I was joking back. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually... I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I get it at some point. There, I feel like there's this uh, force of nature that's out to get me, you, I don't know, somebody. I, I At this moment, I want to raise a glass to Ralph. Oh, Ralph. Ralph, that I will do the same. Smashed by a rock. To our um, fallen compadre. Yeah, he, he fell, all right. He fell Literally right. fallen. <laughs> Thank you for getting the joke. <laughs> yeah. The only you know, companion we've lost to death. It's a crushing, crushing blow. Uh, we miss you, Ralph. To you, brother. 
hopefully he wasn't mad in the afterlife when we looted his body. So, um, I assume we're just going to keep this, this bag of holding and use it to cram all of our stuff in whenever. Oh, we forgot about that staff that was in there. What would you do with that? Did you try to sell that to dude? No, it was just a regular staff that stole there. Mm-hmm. What's the damage on the staff? I'd have out of the game pops. I'd have to look it up. It's just a regular staff. It's not yeah. magical or anything. It's just a stick. Right. It's it's a stick. I got a short sword, a plain short sword. I'm wondering if it's comparable damage wise. What's you the know? short sword? No, the short sword is going to do a lot more damage than a, than a staff. I don't know. I just because of the, just because of the make of, the, of it. I just I don't have the book right next to me to look it up. We could probably look in the like the look up the items thing on here. <sighs> Do you want the staff? Is that what you're asking? Only if it's better than the short sword. I ain't gonna worry about it if it ain't. But I mean, I'm a ranger. It'd be it'd be kind of cool if I had, you know. You want the staff? I mean, honestly, pops. He said it was just a regular staff. I mean, yeah, basically, I you could you could grab a stick and make one. Mm-hmm. I know, I know. So, I mean, if you want it, you're you're welcome to it. Did you ever detect magic? Try to detect magic on it? Yeah, it wasn't anything. Okay. Outside of the game, I think Max was just using it as a plot point that it's something that wouldn't fit in a regular pouch. Right. So when I took it out, it automatically made me know what it was. Because like a tent, you know. Eight foot staff would have fit in a pouch. Right, right. It was just a plot point. A hundred foot ladder is just in there. <laughs> hey, I once had a character that I had no idea what was in it, and the DM randomly rolled anytime I grabbed anything out of it. <laughs> at one point, I was at one point I was being chased by twelve orcs. And I pulled out a folding boat that actually collapsed on them. It was awesome. <laughs> it's a rubber chicken. Ow. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. I got spider venom, too. I got yeah. a board oh, yeah. of spider venom. I'm going to dip my arrows in that shit. I got like spiky arrows now that can hurt nearby um, people to who I shoot too. So that's pretty cool. Well, great. you know, that is, a, I was planning on in the morning going to look at some Fletchers and seeing if we can find any special arrows to go with these bows. Oh. If you yeah. guys would like to join me. Yeah. Oh, well, I was going to try that, except I'm like almost broke now because Max, that stupid dwarf. Oh, that stupid dwarf. He got me. He got you so, too, Hermes. Love- I still got a bit of money, so we can get fletchings, I'm sure. I have some as well, so I we mean, can check look, in the morning. I, I am a fletcher with wood carving skills and all that, and there's, all I need is a pattern, and I can make them. Yeah, but I'm talking about, like, a you know, some magical arrows. Yeah, well, I can't make a magical, but, ain't, like, spiky arrows. But it seems like they, they, we do have some places for magical items. I was going to stop by and check with whatever the guy's name was that sold us our weapons and see who he can recommend for us to maybe find some arrows in the morning. You're right, Pops. That 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 venom on these on the arrows would work really well since we're looking for making our arrows better. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know how many spider venom arrows. arrows you can treat with one gourd of spider venom, but hopefully can at least treat like 20. Um, outside of the game, real quick, Pops, I would just double check with Max on that because you being a ranger, sometimes they consider that using poisons like an assassin, like an, something evil um, almost. Uh, so you just got to be careful who you, how your DM treats it. Like as a paladin, I would have never poisoned anyone. Yeah, I wouldn't care. <laughs> I'm a half-elf, dude. 
Well, <laughs> being a half elf has nothing to do with it. It has to do with what your class is and what you uh, and what your um, alignment is. What's your alignment? As long as we don't kill anyone that's pure good or anything, you should chaotic good. Right. I don't know. <laughs> No, Hermes, it doesn't matter. It doesn't always work about good and evil who you're killing. A lot of times, it also is how you kill them. Yeah, that sometimes can change your alignment. Depend on how Max wants to play it. <laughs> lawful good, skinning people alive. No, you can't. Yeah, that do doesn't that. work good. Even if you're lawful good and they're an evil person, it's still an evil act. Yeah, that whole two wrongs don't make a right. Can screw up your character. So what do we got now, guys? Uh, I'm thinking. Let's see. I know there was a couple things I still wanted. I wanted to unload all the extra stuff that. We replace. I'm gonna go to just a general merchant who who will buy my studded leather armor and you know my longbow that I ain't gonna need anymore because I got this new one and you know like get back just, some gold because I'm almost. Just remember broke. though, at times, if you, anything happens to your weapon, you might need a backup. Yep. I know. That's why I got a magical weapon and a silver scimitar and a hand crossbow and a heavy crossbow and. I got all the shit now. <laughs> we can do that in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I just want to go unload some of the other oh. shit that I've that, actually replaced. That Is there any back? other questions we have to ask each other while yeah. we're sitting around the table? I, I guess it's just about are we all committed to fucking going after the big boy? I mean, I don't see anybody else standing up against the evil in this in this. Did area. we finish those nine... Um, the nine temples. No, no, we still have to find them. Oh, no. We, 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 I, and I hope that coin will take us back where we were. I don't know if it will or not. Well, if it doesn't, we can, we have two orchids we can take to the bird people, and then we can, if we, well, if we do need to go back down, then we could fly. And then if we can, if we are going to do that, we should get horses. I'll buy horses for everybody, and we could apply flying to the horses and fly. Back to where we horses were. Horses were really horses. expensive. Remember, I have four hundred gold. I think that should. Yeah, get I don't think that that I don't even know if that's enough for one horse. Horses were expensive. They weren't cheap. Oh, I thought they were like seventy-five a piece or something. No, they were a little bit more than that. Yeah, we can double check though. I mean, we can ask Max. You know how much it is in this town and everything. Yeah, if if the stone doesn't take us back. Um. I guess it's my turn to buy around. Yes, please. <laughs> I know I what you think. For at least 15 minutes. Right, so, so Lesnar's hammer can scare people. A nice meal. And that cost me two gold. None. How much was around? One. Just one. So I'm down to 79 gold. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, that's why I want to go sell my crap so I can at least get a little bit of money before I leave town. I don't like being broke. Um, so I got some kind of a red flag there, too. It says, warning, AC is not incorrect. Unequip extra armor or shield. So what? He didn't. Oh, it's got the chain mail, but it's also still got the studded leather. Yeah, when he when he gets back, he'll, when you sell the other I one, he'll take the other one off. I fixed it. I fixed it. Got rid of a little extra long bow too. Don't need it. I'm gonna sell it. <clears throat> but you see, I have the wood carver's tools and all that shit. I already have fletching skills, so you know, if I have a pattern, I can make any kind of arrow or any kind of bow. I just need to actually have one so I can make the, so I can duplicate. Granted, I'm just want, curious if we can find any um, arrows that are magical that can help us with some of these magical creatures we're fighting. It's kind of 
part of the reason why I got the magic weapon. Granted. You know, so I can add that to what, just um, touch my bow. Magic weapons, do they it does one extra damage, right? That pierce. Yep. It yep. depends on the magic, so magic weapon. Damage, Sometimes or... it depends on the magic weapon. Some are plus one to attack and defense. Some are just plus one to attack. Some are just plus, you know, to your defense. Every single magic weapon is going to be a little bit different depending on what you get. There's some that are like plus one to like fire damage too or something instead of just regular damage kind of thing. Yeah, well, that's like they were talking about that that um, shield. I, why I was asking about okay. all three different ones. Because one was giving me plus damages to um, arrows. But I could get yeah. the plus two, which would give me a four armor class against everything. And for me, I'd rather be protected against everything than just arrows. Yeah, and then just situational what ifs. That's how I build my stuff yeah. in, in uh, Magic the Gathering, especially. I'm like, is it, this is a what if card? I'm not using this. I'm only using stuff that, yeah. Anyways. And then and then there's uh, this one that I picked up. You guys saw this, right? Pass without a trace. Yeah, that new spell. Yeah. A veil of shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. For the duration, each creature you choose within a, within 30 feet of you, including yourself, has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity, stealth, and checks, and can't be tracked except by magical means. A creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no tracks or other traces of passage. So, we can sneak by non-magical shit now. Yep. And if, that, if you cast that and I'm in it, I can just sneak attack people that we walk past, too. <laughs> this fucker. No, we're trying to get well, by. I, think, I thought that fight. was to cover your trail. That's <laughs> not to actually cover while you're walking. You still make noise and all. That's all just, I, think, I thought that was more designed that people can't, can't track you. Everybody gets a plus 10 bonus to dexterity stealth. Checks can't be tracked except by magical means. So we can sneak right by people that aren't magic, that don't have any way to detect us. Pass without a trace. Oh, sweet. So like okay. if they had... That's like... A um, veil we of have, shadows um... and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. Dude, How does that work? Now, does that... Now, if you go to attack someone, does that break the spell? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like defeating the purpose of trying to sneak by them without them knowing. Right, it, right. That's yeah, what right. I was saying. Yeah, when, yeah, yeah. when Tobias, I'm like, because for it, me, it's like if you do something to cause it, I would imagine that breaks the spell. Yeah. It's does like, it, that, yeah, if I do something, though, does it affect it for everyone? Yeah, or is it that's only what, everyone, yes. Look. Okay. I know you're trying to be this ninja that can, that can kill everybody and, and not get hit, but. It's not designed that way. Dude, okay. pass without a trace means we're trying to get by them without being detected. Not that we're trying to get behind them so we can stab them in the back. That's two okay. different purposes. What you but are trying you to could, do is different than, than what this spell's purpose yeah. is. But you guys it's could, like, if, if if the situation arose, we, we could, you guys could sneak on past. And then if you wanted, I could try to assassinate something. <laughs> With it, if I'm just saying, if it ever happened, but yeah, we just have you do that in the first place, then, and I saved the spell, dude. I'm not super. If you're good just at gonna sneaking. go attack them anyway, then <laughs> why would I waste the spell? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's, true. it's like there's two different reasons for. It's you know, more of a situation of there's a dragon that we know is going to kick the shit out of us. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. We want to sneak that. past yeah. it and not have a confrontation. What would happen? Of course, if, okay, a dragon not, will probably detect us magically anyway. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Something big that we don't want to fuck with. What would happen in this case? So, okay, if I was sneaking, and I'm not saying I'm going to do this. If I was sneaking and I attacked a creature, um, he would be aware of my presence. Presence. Mm -hmm. But then, if Pops cast that spell, then what would happen? Would it throw me back into stealth? Yeah, I don't know if we'd be able to. Do it once you've engaged. I can something. tell you as a DM, I would never let that happen. Personally. Yeah, once once you've engaged okay. it in combat, it's kind of engaged in combat. We ain't hiding from it anymore. You know, okay. as a DM, if the way I use, because you got to understand, guys, 
I DM since the first edition. I've been playing this thing for 20, 30 plus years. And as a DM, if you start doing stuff like that, what we I always called it as World of Warcraft gaming. You know, you're trying you're trying to do something so powerful, you might as well go play World of Warcraft. Because <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I mean, because for me, the minute that happens, you broke that spell. Once that spell yeah. is broke, I, as a DM, everybody would be seen at that point, not just you. That's, I, that's I mean, too. I mean, and that's okay. and that's how I mean, and I'm not saying every DM plays that way, but, but that's the way I did it, and I know a, a lot of them would have. Right. So Max, because uh, I mean, is Max back? Yeah, Max is back. Know. Sweet. Um, um, let's see, a couple things. We went Maybe through some backstories. Okay. Did you guys go to the Thundering Lizard or the House of Repose? I just made up one because I couldn't remember one. Okay. We went to the Spotted Pony. How's that? <laughs> Works for me. Couple bar maids. We ate. We drank. We're still there. Tobias gave a backstory. Um, actually, everybody but me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nobody asked for mine, so I didn't get it. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you 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 have all you this secretive shit have. going on with your background with Max, so we were just waiting for that to all come to life, you know. You keep Stop referring to your side thing that you're you and Max are putting together, so we're all just patiently waiting, you know. Okay. Yeah. We don't want to rush you. Sorry, guys. Uh, you know. I had to step away right when you said that. I had such, I had UPS drop me a box off. <laughs> no, what were you saying, pops? I say, <laughs> uh, it, was, it was, yeah, but they haven't pushed it because you, we got something planned. No, but I mean, but sitting around the table, you could still ask why I'm with the group and stuff like that. What I got planned with Max is something different for a backstory. It doesn't mean you guys can't ask me about mine. Well, I just I didn't want to rush you in I'm, you I'm interested and I'm going to ask, but I'm I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'll come. I want to come back and ask your backstory. All right. All right. So what we wanted to do before we head back out, Max, I want to go uh, unload like my my old leather armor and my old longbow and stuff and get a little bit of gold back, right? Okay. Um, we wanted to go maybe find possibly some magical arrows, a Fletcher that has magical arrows for sale. What else? I just, I was going to check on my horse, making sure. And, and the question we had real quick, um, if you can answer while he's gone, how much are horses normally in this town? If, if, if we wanted to get horses for everyone. 75 gold pieces of piece. Oh, oh, you were, they're right. Sweet. Okay. That's not bad then. And your, 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 your leather armor will get you 10 gold pieces. And Must have been that trying? other game we were playing, huh, Max? When that when we went to that that camp where they had all the horses for sale and shit, yeah. with like two thousand each or some shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were they were more expensive there for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Different so, game, right. Uh, you can get ten gold pieces for your leather. What else were you trying to sell? A bow. Uh, my original, my other bow. Yeah, the one I made. Look here, it's got a big list. Longbow. Longbow. Long long sword. Low gun net. What the hell's going on here? Oh. Okay. Long sword. Sling short bow. Yeah, you can get 50 gold coins out of your bow. Oh, nice. Okay. That'll give you 60 total. That puts me at 139 gold. At least I'm not broke anymore. Okay. Um, Spider Venom. Other question. The, the Gord of Spider Venom. How many arrows can we treat with, with that as poisonous or whatever? Um, can we dip arrows in it? What can we do with it?
the spider poison or the spider venom that we have. Yeah. Okay. Can we just sell it or can we use it? That's the question. Um, this poison must be harvested by a dead or incapacitated spider. Creature affected by this poison must make a DC 11 con saving throw or take 9 2d8 poison damage on a fail save or half as much on a successful one. Poison for one hour regains hit points. Yeah, you can sell it for 150 gold pieces a piece. Oh, Max, you, real quick, while you you're can, doing that, how much do, would my old shield be? You can do 10 arrows in it. I can do 10 arrows or sell it for 150 gold? Yep. Oh, we're selling that shit. <laughs> shield costs 10 gold coins. Wow, that's not a lot. <laughs> no. All right, I'll take another 150. That, that's better. All right. The shield is, though, it's like the... It's the the most cost effective because you get two armor class for ten gold. So All right. All right, so we got my little pony. Oh, um, I also have a commune with nature spell scroll that I want to sell. Can I sell that? Hold on. I can get that spell. Scroll. <clears throat> the ranger spells you choose, are they permanent? Or can you change them whenever? You can change them every level. Uh, I also made an offer to Azaka to to join us and and as as a hi, as a hired hand or um, join us as a member of the party for a cut um, as opposed to her still running with us for free if she wants to because yeah, she was gonna stay in town she was gonna be done um, that's right there <laughs> I wanted to offer her the opportunity to join us as a full paid member of the party if she wanted to yeah she'll take it for sure. Cool. We could, we could take this chance. To, we could take this chance to hire a sorcerer, like you're talking about, I'm getting a sorcerer on our side. You get 500 gold pulling pieces for that that scroll pops because the fifth Sweet. level spell. 500. I'll take it. Okay, that's better. Now, now I'm not broke. All right. So that was a fifth level spell scroll. Nice. All right. Um, I'm just trying to think before we leave town. Is there anything else I wanted to buy? Mm. It says I can carry a shield, but I don't have a shield. That little dwarf would right um... a shield, though, wouldn't he? Well, if you're going to be using your bow a lot, you're going to have to be dropping that a lot for your bow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, so Max, did, I, I'm sorry. Did I miss? Did we? Was there a Fletcher where we could check on magical arrows? Yeah, yeah you can get that. I, I asked him. Um, would you get that, really, Max? Um, would you remove the studded leather armor and one longbow completely from my equipment inventory and see if my carry weight goes down? Yep. Should. I also have some junk to sell when, whenever the opportunity comes about. Okay. Comes about. Longbow, yeah. get rid of it. Leather armor. Leather armor, get rid of it. There we go. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Now we're set. Now All we're right. Set. How was the, what did you want to sell, Hermes? One second. I'm going to go back inside. I'm outside on my headset because it's oh, you're good. nicer right here. <clears throat> okay. One second. It's rainy and cold here. Oh, it's hot as fuck here. I'm like Northern California where the wildfire, a bunch of wildfires are going on. Okay, what I have to sell is 
Should I go one thing at a time or? Yeah, I need to look them up. Okay. Uh, two shimitars. Shimitar gives you 25 gold pieces a piece. Okay. So that's 50. All right. What else? And then uh, a whip. Whip sells for two gold coins. Uh, I'll keep that. Okay. I think. And does anyone want a whip? <clears throat> it's got reach, which is cool. I don't know. Can yeah. I use a whip? I think I actually yeah. got rid of my items. You can use a whip. Let me mess with the whip. Alright. Okay. I accidentally deleted one of my items, but I don't know what it was, so, oops. Uh, I don't know what it is either. <laughs> and Max, when so he's done, I'd like way. to set... Oh. oh, it's my shield. Your shield? Yeah, that magic shield, I think. Uh, the longbow I'll sell, too. Longbow will give you 50. Okay. You need a plus one uh, shield back in the sheet. You, um, do you want to do that? Or can you? Or? I'm going to add the plus one shield back to your sheet. Okay. And then I have a couple other things to sell. I'll find. Yeah, what is it? Um... I have a a fine leather coin purse with mythical imagery and a lacquered wooden cup engraved with noble in imagery. Those are just individual things. What's that? Uh, God. Where's this list today? Okay, uh, I, I have it on my bio. Yeah, I see it. One hundred, one fifty. So you get one fifty for both. Yep, one hundred fifty gold coins. One's the the coin purse is a hundred, and the lacquered wooden cup is fifty. Okay. And how much does a horse cost? Seventy five gold. Oh, yeah. You were right. You were right. Hey, Max, real quick, could I sell those two spell books off? If you want, yeah. I mean, two spell books would be worth some money. You want to sell them? I figured. Them? Okay, hold on. The two spell books was 50. Yeah, because I couldn't read them. I bet I, I know that they get you yeah. said they gave off all kinds of magic yeah. lives when I did it. Okay. All right, so 
you get five thousand and two gold. Both of those spell books. Cool. All right. Deal is cut. You have sold your spell books. Now, and what did you say they had for arrows, sir? I'm sorry, I missed that when you were talking to pops. For arrows, they they do exist. They just say you just haven't. Uh, hold on. Okay. So, a group of 50 arrows costs 350 gold coins. Is that just regular arrows? They're plus one. All right. I'll take it. And what is that, 25 arrows? 50. 50. I will take one of those. Yeah, me too. Okay. Put plus one arrows on your sheets. And Max, when you get a second, I don't have the bow on my sheet yet, the plus one, or whatever that was. All right, hold on. Contending with my... Johnny's character. Fifty of those. You want the longbow, right? Yeah, that magical one. Vicious longbow. Yeah. Sorry. And that was basically just a longbow unless I hit a 20, I think you said. Yeah. Yeah, if you hit a 20, it does 2d6 extra damage. Yeah. All right. There you go. All done. And I think we're all still kind of sitting around the table talking. Yep. How do we add plus one to our arrows? Uh, B. See if it automatically does. Are we going to keep us up with this, or do we want to? Yeah, she's uh, staying with you. Get... Yes. Okay. As as a full cut member, right? Yeah. Okay. Longbow plus one, magic bonus one, damage these blah, 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 plus one. Johnny's character, make sure it's doing the same thing. Oh, look at that. Boom! Boom, boom, boom! We're just going to drop bombs on him now. Here we go. <laughs> well, and that's where I wanted to make sure that, you know, we don't, if we only got 50, we don't use them every time, just depending on when we need it. What are they? I'm not going to use my special arrows when I'm fighting a cobalt. Yeah. Only cobalt arrows? That's when you use the heavy crossbow or the hand crossbow, you see? It's, I, I got other weapons, so. Like I said, you're seen walking around like a freak, like freaking Marvel's Taskmaster, dude. Yeah. You're going to have all those weapons everywhere. I got shit hanging off me all over the place. Oh, I thought we were talking about weapons. Cool because you can... <laughs> You can stay disengaged with the whip and hit people and then run away because then they yep. don't get the chance to attack. That's what I like about it a lot. All right, so what are we doing next? We're sitting around the table. Uh, you guys need to... 
we will play a little bit longer and then we'll end the game or whatever. I got to because I got to do your thing before, right before you leave town. You know, I've got I think we will play a little bit because I got we got another half hour. Yeah. So go in. Oh, yeah. What is your, where are you from, Balinor? Yeah. Yeah. What's your back? Um, I am from Everland and it's a distance away. And um, going back to the previous story with uh, Bohawk, our entire um, kingdom was de destroyed, well, not utterly destroyed, but it was damaged critically by a large red dragon. And in the fight, it killed my mother. And I am now out searching for that, for that dragon. You want to fight a dragon? No, I will destroy the dragon. Dude, I'm not going to be able to keep you alive that long. I'm just letting you know what my goals are. I need some more drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round of drinks for everyone. And if, yeah, I, can I, help, and if I can help other hold adventurers and other party members as we go, so be Lush. it. Lush. 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 What? 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 Our whole goal here is to go take out the worst thing in this whole area, and you're worried about a dragon? Dude, I'm about three drinks in. Um, I don't... Yeah. I'll bet you got a tattoo of a dragon on your ass. I probably do. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I battled one before. Yeah, well... It's, it me, it's, it's on my ass. It reminds me to stay away from it. I'm just saying, if it's on my ass, I probably was blackout drunk when I got it. <laughs> well... <laughs> I'll check that out while I'm reading from left to right. Okay. There you go. Well, I don't think my ass will be. Well, you never know. Depending well, on how and just, you, see, you see, you see, you never know. And just to let you go from my insight, whatever gold and everything that I claim during the adventure, I am sending back to my father to help rebuild the, our, the actual kingdom. Yep. And uh, so the soul monger, the thing that you guys are looking for. He rides a red dragon, his ass is mine. <laughs> it, uh, it's, uh, it still has not been found. Uh, people still have no idea what it is, and there are decrepit people walking off the streets now. Just for your information. People are getting sicker. Yep. Azaka. What's, yeah. your, what's your story? Uh, Azaka. I was a member of a Chultan tribe that was enslaved and brought to Port Nyanzaru. I earned my freedom through, through combat in the arena, and then I became a guide for other people like yourselves because I just gotta, pay them, you know, gotta, gotta pay to eat. I, I just want you to know we consider you a valued member of our of our party. You've you've come through for us many times since we met. So yeah, I'd hope so. I've saved your life numerous times. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of just said that. <laughs> try to be nice to people, man. You know what I mean? You just try. You try. You try. Um, Obviously, she just found a potion of cockiness. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's a, she's a paid member of the crew now. She ain't taking nobody's shit. I like mm -hmm. that. I like that. Um, what'd you guys think of that dwarf? <laughs> Did you make a new best friend? I think next time you need to let me go in and buy for everyone else. <laughs> yeah, it's a little short on patience. I, I didn't yeah. know we were going to run into a racist blacksmith. Well, most dwarves, <laughs> most dwarves don't care for elves. So, no, really, really, mm -hmm. most people don't care for half elves at all. That's yeah, true. So you know, um, except for the half elves. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm getting a little tired, guys. I think I'm going to go find the room and uh, get some sleep and then head out in the morning back on the track, back on our trail. Eh? Eh? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, what do, you, do you guys think that coin will take us back where we were? Guess we'll find out. 
I don't even remember getting here. How did I even get here? You don't want to cast the spell. Yeah, Balinor found a, a, a rock in his bag of holding that was had a rune for, for an old Cholton rune for home. Uh-huh. And, uh, you cast you the spell. You hugged it until it brought us home. Yeah, you, you, uh, you, you kept your head, and you kept in your head, and you kept saying home in all the different languages you knew. Yeah. And one of them triggered, and, uh, a white, white flashed, and the next thing you know, you're standing in the red, the red bazaar with all the, 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 the colors and the smells and the sounds and sights and. Nice. Of course, I don't know why that call the why why your home would trigger that place, but well, it didn't trigger. It's, it's, it's home for whoever had the ring or had the stone. Yeah, why would they trigger? Why would she trigger home in that place? She because it triggered the, the, the person stone. who owned the stone. Are you from there, Luz? Apparently, no. apparently, no. she said. It, it comes the person who made the stone. Oh, okay. Made okay. the stone. Okay. Wait, now we're now we're close to the black obelisk. Now, what's the thing with that? You, Don't something I learned me. about the black. Um, no, there was like uh, the dude told us something about it. The, the 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 translator about what? Didn't he? The black obelisk. Black we obelisk. learned something about it recently. Yeah, Orvix is not going back with you guys. Okay. He's like. Can you tell me what? Uh, it has been great to be your translator, but uh, I think I'll I think I'll stay in, in civilization where, where the people are. And there's not as oh, much. Oh, because of me, isn't it? No, it's because no. of me. Because I'm a bird man. I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> nothing to do with your your race, my friend. It has everything to do with almost dying numerous times. Yeah, he's changing. Chicken. This is your opportunity to chime in, Brad. No? no? Chicken? Oh, I see. Hey, that's racist. <laughs> yes. yes, it is, isn't it? Oh, we just can't get away from it. That dwarf started. Yep. Started it off. We're so all getting along so good. You guys are getting hammered, having a good time. Take you get your sleep on, and we will continue next week when you guys are leaving town because I have something that I need to do with Balinor on the way out, and it'll take some time. And we've only got twenty minutes left. I've got things I've got to do, like deal with the fact that I'm feeling woozy from having all this shit taken out of me. <laughs> it must have took half a liter of blood, man. What? Yeah, they just keep loading. Don't you hate that? They just grab another tube and stick it on yep. there, and they pull exactly. out and they grab they another just tube. Kept and taking like, shit, and I'm like, "How many are you taking?" She's like, nine. Nine. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, take nine of these. Oh, oh. <laughs> so that thing with me, are we doing that in private, or is the rest of the party going to be there? Uh, the party will be there. It'll happen right when you guys are leaving town. Okay. So. I'm. I think we're all set to go back or try yeah. to. Oh, I know, but I'm going to do that next session. No, that's fine. I just mean okay. it's meaning. Are we going to try to get horses? Or are we going to use this room? Yeah. That's what I was going to say. One more question: Are we all getting horses? Up to you. Can is there any other options for animals, like dinosaurs? Uh, dinosaurs. You can ride dinosaurs here. Yeah. He'll eat it. No, no. <laughs> if it dies, if it dies, no. Only. Um, this, this is the question. I need a horse if it dies. Want to get horses? Take them to a town where all we're doing is constantly getting attacked. I don't think so. So if we bought horses now, we would just be stabling them. I don't think unless we need them to get somewhere. I don't think we should buy any yet. That's my opinion. He'll just get eaten. Yep. How just much is the dino cost? Uh, the same thing, not 75 gold. Do they have flying really? dinosaurs? No, they do not have flying dinosaurs. They only have yeah, they, can they attack or are they yeah, they can attack. They got the, they got the uh, diamond drawn or whatever that you can ride. I'm going to buy a, a di or, Can I get a dinosaur? Does anyone else want yeah. one? 
I say I'm not going to get well, one. Until we I guess do. the question is, do we need it? Are we going to yeah. all ride? If no. not, why don't we use the stone and go back where we were? That's what I'm saying. I'm, I just not, want, I'm not I just buying a riding an animal engine. unless I need a riding animal, because then I'm just going to be buying it and paying to stable it. No sense in doing that yet. I can buy one later when I need one. I think what I was saying, I would suggest you get one when we come back through to pick up my horse. When we need one. I just, I just want to do it. Can I just get one for 75 yeah. and have him, and see, I don't know, if he dies or whatever. Yeah, you certainly what can. A bit, not a huge loss. I just, yeah, that's your do. I want just, him out. All right, hold on. Does, does he attack on his own then, or would I do that? It's beyond your turn. You control it. All right. I just got to get him on your sheet. I got something in my lap right now. I got to finish this last cigarette real quick. And I'm rolling. Started rolling all my own cigarettes. Cheaper. Yeah. So are you going to bring this dinosaur with you back to this town and be the only person mounted? Hey, that works. He's a bird, but he can't fly. He needs speed. He needs speed. He's, he's slow. He's like if he a... dies, he dies. I don't really care. But <laughs> if he, if if he, he dies, he, good, he then dies. Then... <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff, longer and there. Nice. If he makes it, then I'll treat him nicer and see how, you know. Stable him if he makes it through this. He has to prove himself. Well, we only got like four or five more temples we're going to go in, and he's going to be sitting outside vulnerable. So I don't yeah. understand why you're bringing him along if you're just going to feed him to the jungle. Feed him to the jungle. Creatures and monsters. Then again, I guess, honestly, Pops, if he's studying to be a ranger and it can attack and it can go with us when we teleport, like. Yours, I guess this could be his animal companion. Yep. Dianosichus. <laughs> it's what it is. So, give me a second here. Get the... Tag this shit. Copy and paste. Treasure Ow. list. In my what list? It's in your treasure list. Okay. <sighs> or your expendable creature list, whichever one you want to call it. Mount Dino. Okay. Okay. Does he have a sheet or anything that I would need to see? Uh, I'll get it to you in a second. I want to print it. No, what the fuck? Oh, and I gotta give you the hundred nurse. Not thinking straight. Alright. That's because you're twisted. I know. Hermes. Open them up the character sheet. What was I doing? The dinosaur. Oh, yeah. The dinosaur. The dinosaur. Dino. 
you're giving a pet Ooh, dinosaur to a guy who wants to eat every dinosaur. Yeah. Well, I guess he won't run out of rations. Yeah, carry the dino. And he and he can carry all my extra dinosaur jerky. Yep. Weird. He's there you go. Dinosaur jerky. What are you talking about? I'm not carrying it. Usual punishment. <laughs> you're like, you're dude, eat. I mean, we're gonna, yeah. You're gonna make him carry the carcasses of you his. You want dead some friend. treats? I... <laughs> well, they eat each other anyway. That's how dinos live. That's true. Some, not all. <sighs> kind of like people. There was the vegetarian fucking dinos too. <laughs> <laughs> Those little soy victims. <laughs> uh, how do I get this thing to show up in your list close to you? Oh, man. That's fine. It should be on your list. Hermes is the, the dinosaur on your list in your on your your journal. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. All right. Is your dinosaur on your list in your journal? That. Cool. Thank you. My toe hurts. What'd you do to your poor toe. I broke it on Wednesday. That doesn't sound good. Oh, it didn't feel good either. <laughs> Just tape them together. I, they're taped. <laughs> Definitely taped. What else you can do? Been icing and taping and then elevating my foot, and my whole toe is purple. It looks like a little sausage. It's gross. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it nice? <laughs> All right, so Johnny, this week I'll talk to you about what we're doing and how I'm going to plan on having it done. Okay. And then we'll work through that, and then we'll make it happen in front of everybody because that's the way it's going to play out. Okay. That's that intriguing. Yeah, and we have some some dudes on Griffins arrive. Uh oh. Some, Looking for you, Johnny. That'll be good. Dum dum dum. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. I will exit the game and I will schedule a game for next Friday at eight thirty. My time. Now, did you guys want to try to do a Wednesday catch up? We kind of talked about that a little bit when you were gone. I think Max. Yeah, we can do it. I'm fine with that. I'm down. Uh, next week, Wednesday, I won't be able to. I have to pre-record for my show um, that I'll be gone the first week of. I'm going to be gone the first week of uh, June. <laughs> for what? Gotcha. My brother's getting married, so. Oh, destination wedding, huh? Yeah. he's Well, they live in Michigan. We're talking about this Wednesday. Coming. Yeah, it's coming Wednesday. I have I have that pre record in the morning, and then my kids get out of school at eleven twenty four. Okay, so we'll just make it Friday then. Yeah, that works. All right. Well, I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna go lay down. All right. All right. See you. I'll talk to you later, Max. Peace. I'm gonna Bye. play some sponsor ads, and uh, have a great day. Bye, everybody. Peace.
this world Come in and take a seat Pay us no attention It's all conspiracy We have satire and parody Some funny, some perverse If none of it's offensive to you You'd be the first Fairview's coffee has mysteriously gone missing. Mayhem ensues when strange, coffee-craving zombies plague the city. Detective Mickey Potatoes, an overworked public servant, uncovers why ordinary citizens are losing their minds and how to stop the coffee apocalypse. But it involves the Mafia. And when you're dealing with Mafia crime families, nothing is ever easy. The Mafia controls everything in the city, including the police, including him. If he breaks the Mafia, they will break him. So, the city is without coffee. The city is burning before his very eyes, but he's powerless. Detective Potatoes has the power to stop the coffee apocalypse. But if he does, he could lose everything. of the Pale Rider anyway. You come No, that's not it. Is it this? What the heck is Path of the Pale Rider, man? There's no way this is right. How about this? We have no idea. 
You rob a bank? Oh, it's dead. How do you end this thing? How do you put the where? There was the brakes on this bus. I forgot. Jazz how to hands. Drive. Jazz hands. Have a good night.